Hi, welcome to this session on how to retrieve your rec recorded WebEx sessions. So in previous videos, I've shown you how to create a WebEx activity on Moodle, how to host the activity. We've had a look around the interface and we've also had a look at how to record the session. So we ended that video with pressing stop and the uh, recording going off to the WebEx server. So now I'm going to show you where we need to go in order to retrieve that file so we can put it on Moodle. So we need to go to the WebEx um, University uh, web page. So we're going to type into a browser uop.webex.com. So that's uop for University of Portsmouth.webex.com. And this will take us to the WebEx. Now I'm already signed in. If you haven't been to this web page before, um, you will be asked to sign in here, uh, sort of where the logo is, there'll be a little blue sign in button. If you click there, you will be prompted to use your university credentials. So you'll see the branded University of Portsmouth sign in. So if you use your um, work email and your normal work password, that will log you in and bring you to if, well, your version of this interface. So it will say your name's personal room, so you probably notice a couple of uh, shortcuts. We can schedule a WebEx session here. So Moodle isn't the only place where you can create a WebEx session. You can also create it from this um, WebEx uh, website as well. So you can create, uh, click on the schedule button and password, meeting topic, all the normal stuff. But we're not here to do that. We are here to retrieve recordings. So let's get straight to that now. Um, so on the left hand side of the screen, you'll see there's a number of menu options. Um, the third one down is recording. So you will see that I have lots of recordings because I've been using WebEx for a while. Um, I started using it back in 2018 to teach the army by distance learning. So we used to record our uh, weekly seminar sessions and they recorded their assessed presentations by WebEx. So this is something I will touch on in another video, but students can actually use this WebEx website. They can create their own meetings, invite their um, group group mates, and they can actually record and actually invite you as well if you want. they want to do it live. So that's one great thing about WebEx. Um, Yes, there are other software providers that seem to be a little bit better or a little bit easier to use than WebEx. But one of the great things is that students can actually use our premium license and create their own WebEx sessions. I digress. So back to retrieving recordings. So um, these are some um, recordings uh, made earlier when myself and a couple of colleagues were just experimenting with the different functions of WebEx. So I'm just going to have a look at this one here. So week 10 seminar. Now, um, you can download the file, but we're not going to do that because the file format ARF is not very uh, flexible. You need to download an ARF player, which WebEx prompts you to do, um, but that doesn't work very well with Moodle. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to grab a URL. So if you click on, I'll just go back actually, because I rushed that bit. So next to the download arrow, you will see a share icon. If you click on the share icon, um, you can either share the recording with a specific person or groups of people. So if this was um, just four of your students and you did a little breakout session or a little group sort of one-to-one -one session with them or one-to-group session, you would be able to send them the recording here rather than putting it on Moodle. If it's a general class session and everybody's invited, you will be able to copy the URL or just press the copy button. Okay, and then press save. And then if we go back to your to a Moodle page, we can add an activity, add a URL, add the URL in there. For some reason it adds the title too, so just delete that. Delete unnecessary spaces. Okay, so let's call this week 10 seminar recording. Okay, and make sure capitalization is on point and click save and return to course. So now the students can see um, once this session's finished and all the students have, have been in and the session's been delivered, you can hide that or delete that. Um, it will just delete the activity from Moodle and then you could just have the recording instead. So if you click on the recording, 
So this could be a student coming in, clicking on the recording, um, perhaps they missed the session or perhaps they came to the session, but they just wanted to see it again. This is the interface that they will be greeted with. So um, as you can see now, the screen's changing as we were playing around um, with uh, WebEx earlier on today and we press record. So this is a recording that I made earlier using WebEx. Okay, so um, as you can see, this is how the students will access the recorded session. Um, that was a very quick video, it's just experimental, but you could have your 50 minute video, your 15 minute video, um, your group, uh, one to group session um, yeah, uploaded on the Moodle um, website. So students can just access that via a link on Moodle. So that is how you add your recorded, uh, access your recorded sessions and add your recorded sessions to Moodle. Hopefully that was helpful. Any questions, please do drop me an email.